yeah, they did a good job. I mean, we scored f- scored 20 points in every quarter, and we didn't turn it over. Um, so that's what we told our team. It never felt like we, we didn't – it didn't feel like we ever went on a push that extended the lead. It just felt like we chipped away at it and kept – Well, you did to start the second. Yeah, but it still didn't really f- – it just felt like we just kept making – Bat one basket at a time, which is kind of what we're supposed to do anyway, right? Um, but they, they are a really good defensive team. I think they've spent a lot of time working on defense. That's what their their program, Cindy's been there as long as I've been here. And um, they've always been really good at defense, and they rebound hard, and they play hard. And um, when you play teams like that, they're always in the game. Um, they never, they're not going to quit. Uh there, we play teams sometimes where a few of their best players, if you get down, they just kind of pack it in. And I don't think if you did that, you wouldn't play for Cindy Fisher. So, like, th- their team just doesn't do that. And so um, they, I thought they guarded us pretty well. They made it difficult. Lots of pressure. They tried to – They were, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They pushed us away from the basket a little bit more than we'd like to be and just make, made some of those passes a little bit difficult. But um, ultimately, we had – more good plays than they had defensive plays. More offensive plays than they had defensive plays, yeah. With Yvonne, I mean, I don't want to say anyone had a quiet game, but, I mean, 25 points, but you look up and it's like, oh, she's already at 17. I mean, what was she doing right today that just sort of allowed her to get hot like that? Yeah, she just, um, I think she uses her body so well. She's gotten really good because some people started call, calling some of those fouls against her, um, and we've tried to get her to stop doing it defensively. But some of those ones where people are trying to fall down and, and that, she's really put the time in to study the film. And her and Craig have spent some time trying to figure out how to get her underneath some of that and, and where to face up and where to power through. And I think that today she just she got deep position and scored it. If she And if she was pushed off the block, then she didn't force anything. Um, she she faced up well and attacked where she needed to. I don't know if she, she I don't think she scored anything that was outside of a, besides a free throw outside of maybe eight feet today. And some you know sometimes she hits a couple mid range jumpers and she was just all around the basket able to be patient in there. And uh, the other thing she did is she finished through pressure and, and through contact. They're they're very physical and there were a couple of them I thought she was fouled, but um, I don't know if she was or wasn't. It just seems like it. There's a lot of people down there and she's just strong enough to finish through the contact and that's. That's why she got a couple of those baskets, at least. Settlement into a substitution rotation? Well, I don't know. The last two games have been such big margins. You know, we definitely know what – we have a, a rhythm with the first quarter, um, sometimes the second quarter, and then we see what – and we added Bree. You know, so she's an, a new a quality player who we added late. And so we're trying to, but it, it gets a little skewed when you play team, when you get up on teams pretty early, then that changes the rotation a little bit. But I, I definitely feel comfortable with where we are. Honestly, as long as we have a couple veterans out there, which it's hard not to find a veteran on our team. Honestly, we've got far more of them than, than guards, even the Cali Stokes and the Bree Salamis, they're red shirt sophomores, but they've been in the program for three years. Um, you got three people, two people who are really new, who are playing quality minutes at all. And, um, it's, it's pretty much most of those will work if you have a, a few of our veterans out there. If you put Vani out there with anyone else, if you've got Lynn out there with anyone else, she's going to organize it. Vani can score it. If you've got Brenna out there with anyone else, she's a th- threat. So you just kind of we're, – we're fortunate enough to where we don't have to have a rotation rotation. Really, if you put people out there, someone can guard someone, someone can score the ball, someone can pass the ball. And then the rest of the people fill in, right? <laughs> Like this is a really competitive group, but you know, like at any season, like you know, with 18 to 21 year olds, uh, is when you get to thick of like January, February, you know, non conference is far behind you. How do you just sort of mentally keep the team focused, you know, day in and day out? Yeah, that's a challenge every year for us, and this year, hopefully, we're gonna attack it, approach it in some different ways. We're working as a staff to figure that out. We're only in game three of conference, right? So, there's a lot of conference left. We haven't sometimes it's after you've seen everybody and then you, they make their own opinions. You know, we all know as a staff and we know we know all the strengths of the other teams, but they, they kind of come to their own conclusions and then that becomes more challenging. And so for us, I think when you have veterans, that's part of it. They know that at any point, any team, if you don't show up, any team can beat you. So it's that part. I think we're, we're spending a lot of time studying other people. We're trying to improve ourselves. I think we're going to add new things to keep it fresh. And just as coaches, we're always trying to keep it fresh. Not, not usually quite at this point, but as you get about halfway through conference, it starts to get, especially if you do well. Um, we have to focus on continuing to improve. And it's just like, okay, anyone who has kids knows, well, I, let me tell you about my experience. Well, they want to experience it for themselves, right? So hopefully we can help them experience um, 
the things that have happened they've gotten us when we've been too casual or we haven't showed up well for a team when you go on the road like these these the portland was but these two at home everybody shoots it well in this building right we, even the opponents shoot it well in this building so uh hopefully we'll be able to convince them of the things that we're teaching them of and that they matter and we'll find a, a way to not fall into any of those ruts this year Tell me who it is because I can't see you. You don't have the numbers. Um, Kaylin okay. Trong. Uh, I honestly I feel like we did pretty well. I know it was off our offense was probably stagnant or you know choppy at times just because we couldn't really get a flow. But San Diego, San Diego was always known for their defense, and uh, since freshman year that's it hasn't changed, and they play hard. So yeah. I think that's that kind of disrupted our defense, but we found it in the end. Yeah, and you have to respect. In fact, they, they didn't come in here and throw a wall. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what was working? Because they, they came out and extended their man-to-man, -man and if you had the ball, you had the ball, they came out and tried to double and tried to get back in the tree and stuff. What, what's finally started working for you guys? Kaylee. Um, I'd say just being able to move the ball, making San Diego play both sides of the court. So, like, sometimes – uh, we struggle with just keeping the ball on one side, and that's easy to play defense on. So uh, being able to expand the court, you know, get them to play defense as much as they can from one end to the other uh, really helped open a lot of things. And just being sure um, they hard hedged, so that that delayed a lot of how they would recover and get back. So if you take off Vonnie from the hard hedge, then somebody somebody's bound to be open. Uh, but yeah, just being sure and making the right reads off of. And being patient too. Right? Very being, yeah. yeah. So, you know, you're off to a 3 0 start in the conference, and uh, I can say this, you guys don't have to say it, but I mean, you might not really threaten that much in conference like you were in non conference. How do you stay motivated now uh, through the rest of the conference? Kaylin, uh, I honestly as our team progresses each day we try to get one percent better um we're definitely trying to work on our defense our offense will fix here and there but our defense is what's going to win us games and um just staying like present and taking one game at a time um we can't just overlook any other teams because you know everybody wants to beat us so we just gotta be present Yeah, no, I think Lynn said it best. Uh, one of the biggest things that our team kind of hones on is staying in the moment and being present, not looking too far into the future. And so um, I think we're doing a good job of that right now. Uh, hopefully we continue to do that. And, uh, yeah, we'll, 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 keep, we'll keep on our way. I'm good.